Hello, accountability buddies. This is Les with another episode of Less is More Healthy. Um, this is like the fourth take of this video. Um, I feel really out of practice because I haven't recorded for like a week. Um, I haven't put together in like a week. Um, that's not intentional at all. Um, I intended while I was up in Maine to record a bunch of stuff, but that didn't happen. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Today, however, um, I did um, ride 11 and a half miles and I had to stop due to mechanical issues. Uh, note to self and uh, share this with you. Um, if you ride a rough trail, we'll get into that in a minute. If you ride a rough trail and your bike has been strapped to the roof of your car after that for 300 miles, you should check, you should do a, a check on all of your mechanical stuff from your brakes to how your bolts are tight. All of that stuff should be checked. Um, because if you don't, what ends up happening is when you're out on your, your ride that you're hoping to get longer than 11 and a half miles, uh, things start rubbing like your brakes. And then you realize that things are loose. It should not be loose. Uh, like your your rear cassette and you have to turn around and come home and feel like a doofus for not doing a basic mechanical check uh, but also that sort of thing should not be loose on the bike after riding in a roof rack um, so I'm not sure what I did with the bike to loosen those up uh, probably user error for the roof racks <sighs> yeah so the reason I didn't record for the most part when we were up in Maine is because uh, pretty much from the moment we got there on Friday, was it Friday? Yeah, Saturday? Saturday, we got there on Saturday, it was raining. Sunday it rained, Monday it rained, Tuesday it stopped raining and on Tuesday we rode the rail trail. Um, we had really intended to ride all of the trails and the roads um, on the on the farm. That did not happen because of the rain. Also, even after it stopped raining, um, you'll see in, I'll probably use it as part of this video, uh, the field is just sopping wet. Um, and it's just, it's just incredibly wet. Um, standing water in the grass, um, things just, don't, they're not draining out well because they've had so much rain. Um, my dad's telling me that his uh, gardens that he's normally has, has, you know, great success with things are drowning because it's so wet. Um, so we didn't get out onto the rail trail until Tuesday, July 4th. Um, and we rode from my parents' farm up to the trailhead uh, on Station Road. And so we took the Station Road trailhead into Machias. Um, and the Station Road trailhead historically is kind of interesting. That's actually where the railway station was for Jonesboro back in the day. And the building for the station stood up until about 20, 20 years ago. I mean, it was brought in for the 20 years before that um, because it hadn't been used I think since the 60s 70s um, but the building had been standing um, and the people who owned it just didn't take care of it after that um, or people the company that owned it the railroad company just let it rot um, so um, yeah that's that's kind of cool like they they did a, I think a controlled burn of it um, at one point uh, back in the the 90s anyway so the the station is gone um and we rode the trail the whole way over um it's kind of interesting seeing it from a different perspective um because i've actually ridden underneath um one of the train the over uh, it's a bridge over over the river the chandler river uh, i've ridden underneath that in a canoe um, because we used to canoe up the river when I was a kid. It's kind of interesting. Um, so seeing it from a different perspective was really cool. Um, and it's an old uh, train bridge. 
um, made out of steel. And that's just, it was just really cool seeing it. You'll see it in the videos. Uh, I am going to do a video of the whole ride. Um, it did take us an hour to ride the 10 miles or so of trail. Um, it ended up being about 14 and a half miles because I rode from a different part of the farm up to the roadway, then from there to the farmhouse, then back onto the road. So it ended up being about 14 and a half miles total for us. And they were not easy miles. Actually, the easiest part of the ride was the ride from the farmhouse to the trailhead. Because um, even though there were some pretty steep hills there, um, there was a significant flat portion for about a mile. Uh, the trail itself um, was a long, slow, steady uh, hill. It was just a consistent hill uh, till we got to about Whitneyville, which was about seven of the 14 miles. Um, and the roadway, the, the trailway itself was pretty soft, loose gravel. Um, not a lot of it was packed. Um, and I've been told my mom, my parents live locally. They use the rail trail on both ATVs and for walking. My mom wa walks it um, close to Machias with a bunch of her friends. Um, and she said that normally when it's drier, um, they have a lot of, they have a whole load of volunteers that go out with rakes and grade the road, the trail on a regular basis. So the trail is normally much smoother um, and more packed and it's not as loose as it was this year. Um, and she says just because that there's so much rain, they haven't been able to get out. The volunteers have only been able to get the part closest to the town where they live. So the parts that have a large volunteer uh, structure um, are well maintained. So like the Machias section, basically once we hit mile 57, which is about where Machias starts, um, once we hit that, um, it was smoother. There wasn't as much loose gravel and we were able to pick up some speed. It was much more fun uh, and safe feeling. Um, we didn't feel like we were going to constantly lose control of either our front or rear tires and go down. We were able to pick up some speed. Um, and so we timed it just right unintentionally that from there, uh, from the start of the ride to when we got done, we got to see the tail end of the parade, um, which was did not last very long. It was a very small parade. I remember parades in Machias growing up feeling like they were just going on forever. Um, and this lasted about 15 minutes. Uh, it was very short. There weren't a lot of floats or things. Um, basically it was all the cops and the sheriffs and uh, fire engines in the area, plus some uh, Shriners riding their little, little cars. Um, yeah, so that was, it was interesting. You know, it, it was not a bad ride. Um, and then we made the bad decision to not go back the rail trail. Um, we rode Route 1 back to my brother's house um, and got my dad to pick me up. <laughs> pick me up, And I went and got the car uh, and we put the bikes on the top of the car because we were leaving the next day. We just left them on the top of the car. Um, and yeah, so that was that was the epic rail trail adventure. Um, I would definitely, I think, do it again. Um, I think I would put different tires on the bike. Um, maybe, I don't know. It, I felt unprepared for it. Um, even though, you know, like doing 25 miles is something that I do on a regular basis now, but I'm wondering if the three days of not riding had more of an impact than I really kind of think they do. Um, definitely though, the hills, the like long, slow incline um, with, with very few descents was rough. Uh, also taking route one back to my, my brother's place, 
um, was a bad choice because it was also just all uphill. And I forget um, from, you know, I, I grew up there. Um, I just forgot how many hills were there because I always drove it. I never, I never rode that as a kid. Um, I rode the section between my parents' house and the farm um, growing up all the time, rode, rode my bike downtown um, with my friends, rode around the neighborhood, um, but never, never rode my bike over to Machai's. And um, that, that was a rough ride. That was a very difficult ride. And I think maybe if we'd come back through Whitneyville or a different route, it would have been better. But those hills, man, they wrecked my legs. Um, I think before I do that again, I, I am planning on going up again in August. I'm hoping to ride that trail again. Um, but before I do that, I will be doing more hills here. Um, I have been riding the hill over on Bridge Street on the regular, which is a long, slow incline, um, just to get accustomed to riding hills uh, and just, you know, because hills wreck your legs, man. It's rough. It's rough. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got to practice hills, I guess. And uh, so that's that's where things are right now. Um, I'm hoping to get a 30 or 40 mile day in this week before I go back for work. I've got the rest of this week off. Uh, I don't go back to work until Monday. Um, so it's four more days, including today. Um, got to get a 40 mile or, or at, le for at least 40 miles in on one of these days. But I think I'm going to have to leave super early in the morning. I'm going to have to get up at like six and get out the door by eight. Um, because every day this week, it's supposed to hit 80, 80 degrees. Um, it's just super humid, super hot. Um, also, almost everywhere I can ride, there's a headwind. Today, I rode out, out of the city to a headwind, rode back into the city to a headwind. Um, so it's just like, you know, it's like pedaling with your brakes on. Anyway, um, with that... I will um, leave you until next time. Got three more episodes after this or two more episodes and then a check-in episode. Um, and it'll be episode 100, three away from 100. It's mind-blowing. Uh, but thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.